Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. I mean over the top gorgeous. Here on Tuesday afternoon, March 7th, 2017, uh, here in the paradise of East Bumblefuck, New Mexico. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a Bigfoot challenge update, a Humpty Dumpty tribe Bigfoot challenge update. As you're, some of you are probably aware, I have kind of somehow the the universe has now labeled me Hambone Little Tail, a Bigfoot researcher. Anybody can be a Bigfoot researcher. You just start researching Bigfoot. And this is how you get labeled a Bigfoot researcher. If you've ever watched any of these documentaries or whatever about Bigfoot researchers and you wonder how do you become a, B a Bigfoot researcher? Well, you start researching Bigfoot and you're a Bigfoot researcher. And if you go on a hunt for Bigfoot, which I will be going on here in a few months, uh, then you are a Bigfoot hunter. So anyway, uh, now that I am a Bigfoot researcher, uh, as part as part of taking on the Humpty Dumpty Tribe Bigfoot Challenge, I've I've gotten into this debate, and I've actually had rants before on this before I ever became a Bigfoot researcher myself, and that's one of the big controversies in the Bigfoot research community is whether or not to bring one, bring a Bigfoot it in, meaning kill it. Uh, do we need to sacrifice the life of one Bigfoot just to convince these naysayers that uh, that Bigfoot does not exist? And I want to state categorically that I am 100% adamantly opposed to killing a Bigfoot. I, I find the very idea of it morally repugnant, ethically reprehensible. Uh, anybody out there wanting to kill a Bigfoot, don't, don't, don't get me going, but what I hear is it's like there's, it's an all or nothing. Either we leave him completely alone or we kill him. And I think there's a middle ground, which I don't, I mean, a few people have mentioned this. How about the idea of bringing a Bigfoot in alive? And there you go. I am 100% in favor and fully endorse bringing in a live Bigfoot, bringing him in, keeping him or her, a, a, about a month should be all the time we need to, to, to run whatever, particularly DNA test on this thing to find out once and for all and ever, well, number one, of course, is to prove that Bigfoot exists beyond any doubt, it would put it to rest. Uh, it would obviously answer the big question, does Bigfoot exist? If we bring one in alive, where people can see one walking around, uh, eating, drinking, and shitting, we would know it's still, we would know it's alive, and we could do, you know, all sorts of DNA samples and blah, 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 uh, to figure out what the hell this thing is a little bit uh, about, uh, you know, what it eats. We could certainly uh, test it for all of that. Uh, do whatever, you know, we need to poke this little guy, prod him, take blood tests, DNA samples, uh, whatever, uh, for about a month, take him back, where we found him, and let him go to rejoin his family. Uh, I have no problem with this. And this is the reason why I am in 100% in favor of this. And, and I don't hear anybody, 
anybody in the Bigfoot community talking about this. And this is just, as I say, I've had this rant before, but now that I am a Bigfoot researcher, uh, I'm going to have it again. The reason this is so important, so important is not so much about Bigfoot himself, although that's very important. It is the fact that if we can prove that Bigfoot, you know, essentially a species of human, uh, is, is a breeding population of effectively a primitive human, or even if it does turn out to be a quote ape, that, that's, that's about as good. If, if, we can, if we can demonstrate that there is a breeding population of these animals out there in the forests of the Pacific Northwest, and I'm gonna men talk about, I'm gonna come back to this Pacific Northwest in a minute. Imagine what that is going to do to preserving the, the uh, wilderness areas out there. Look what the spotted owl did in the, what is it, the marbled murrelet. Imagine if an owl and some little bird uh, could help preserve whatever is remaining of the, uh, you know, the old growth forest in the Pacific Northwest and the redwood forest, the dug fir forest, the rain forest on the Olympic Peninsula, whatever, just imagine the absolute calamitous uproar uh, in the tree hugger's favor. Uh, proving that Bigfoot exists will be the single greatest thing ever in the history that uh, that environmentalist uh, would have in their limited arsenal of weapons to get the goddamn planet eaters out of the Pacific Northwest, uh, save what's left of the old growth forest, the tiny remnants would be off limits. To, to those sons of bitches, even with Donald Trump, uh, the, the outpouring uh, of support for saving those forests uh, and, and hopefully growing back the ones that have been butchered. It, it, would, it would be a death knell for the timber industry in the Pacific Northwest. It, it, it would put an end to their damn shenanigans. Well, obviously, I'm not that clueless, guys. I understand it would not put an end to it, but it would throw a Bigfoot-sized monkey wrench into their plans. I'm taking a wild guess here, guys. Your old uh, conspiracy wacko. I think uh, that these big logging companies know goddamn well that Bigfoot exists. Uh, they, they know damn well uh, that Bigfoot is real. And uh, probably there's a whole lot of loggers uh, the, these damn uh, lumberjacks out there uh, that know it too, and they're keeping their damn mouths shut because they realize that uh, that Bigfoot uh, would be the single biggest threat to their jobs, to the entire timber economy. And anything Bigfoot can do to shut down the, uh, the, the goddamn logging industry uh, in the Pacific Northwest has my, has my eco-Nazi vote. Uh, this is what it's all about. This is what nobody is talking about. And this is why we need to find, uh, to put this subject to rest. And the reason I am saying, uh, I keep harping on the Pacific, by the Pacific Northwest, I mean starting, you know, Northern California, Oregon, Washington State, and British Columbia, I guess, would be the Pacific Southwest if you were in, in Canada, 
I am, I, I, I've never been 100% convinced that Bigfoot even does exist. I see, I do not see, no one has presented me with any scientific proof that Bigfoot cannot exist uh, to this day. Is it improbable? Yes. Is it impossible? No. I have never seen, it's not like we're t looking for a goddamn Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, we're, you know, we're looking for Bigfoot. And, and I think there is plenty of, of historical, circumstantial, anecdotal evidence going back centuries from the Pacific Northwest that, the, that these animals have certainly been there for a long time and we need to bring one in alive to, for, to, that's the number one best way we have to ensure that they continue to survive is to, so we can start getting to work on a Bigfoot population restoration project. And uh, again, about, about, about the Pacific Northwest, I, I'm just going to throw this out there. This is another rant, but I'm just going to make a point of it. Uh, anybody who believes that Bigfoot, Bigfoot exists, uh, I've read some of these researches, they see no reason why Bigfoot isn't on in every state in this union with the exception of Hawaii. So anyone who believes that Bigfoot is, uh, is living in 49 states here, and that means you think Bigfoot is living in Rhode Island. You think Bigfoot is living in Connecticut? You know, it's, it's anybody going out there making these absolute unadulterated horseshit claims that Bigfoot lives in, that could be living in Rhode Island. What you're doing, guys, is you're making an absolute mockery and a laughing stock out of any serious Bigfoot uh, researcher and Bigfoot hunter looking for this guy where we might actually have a chance to find him and that is the Pacific Northwest. I see a little bit of evidence from the uh, from the Rocky Mountains as well. Uh, but there's people probably listening to this rant who think that there's there's no reason there ain't a bunch of Bigfoots within a mile of where I'm sitting in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico. Uh, my bullshit detector button is out of reach. But anyway, I'm getting off on another rant, and I'll have plenty more. But anyway, this is just a, a Bigfoot challenge uh, update, and I do want to thank everyone who has contributed to my GoFundMe Bigfoot Challenge page. I am thrilled to announce that I have I have raised I'm about eight hundred twenty dollars towards my uh, fifteen hundred dollar goal of the Bigfoot Challenge. So if anybody wants to support uh, Ham on Little Tail and the little dog Sancho Panza in his upcoming Bigfoot hunt. Uh, I would greatly appreciate any, uh, any donations to the cause. Uh, it's the, it's the Humpty Dumpty Tribe Bigfoot Challenge on GoFundMe. I will put the link to the campaign, uh, here in the description of this video and... I would be very appreciative of anybody who wants to throw any money into, if not finding Bigfoot, to uh, saving the forest of the Pacific Northwest, which is the number one goal of finding Bigfoot. And I will, as I get deeper into my Bigfoot research and plan for the Bigfoot Challenge, I will be bringing you more of these updates, but for this update... Bye guys. Come on, my little Bigfoot hound. This is Bigfoot hound Sancho Panza 
Hopefully he's not going to be a Bigfoot burrito. What are you doing with your tongue? Bye, guys.